The Earth is only about 4.5 billion years old, and in, it, in its earliest history was probably unsuited for life. For example, we believe the surface was molten, and that makes it uncomfortable for living organisms if the rocks are melted uh, all over the planet. So life could not have come into being as early as four and a half billion, and could not have come into being as late as three and a half billion. There seems to be only a small period of time in which the origin of life happened, at most a few hundred million years. Six days was once a popular hypothesis. It uh, is not excluded by this evidence, but it could not have taken longer than a few hundred million years. Now, if there is a process which happens in a period of time short compared to the time available, we are tempted to say it is a likely process. The origin of life happened on a time scale much shorter than the age of the Earth. And that at least suggests that the origin of life is in some sense easy. It's not hard, it happened fast. Something must encourage it, must make it easy. And we have to now ask, what is that something? How does life come into being? Now, if we could understand the origin of life, the origin of a system able to make identical copies of itself, and if there are changes in its hereditary instructions, those changes also are accurately repeated, then we can understand, at least in principle, the entire future history of life. Because we understand from the epical work of Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace in the United Kingdom, except it wasn't called the United Kingdom then, I don't believe, um, how evolution comes about. Mr. Darwin's portrait is sitting here. I don't know if that's exactly a scowl, but uh, I like to think of him as delighted at having come upon such a splendid idea, but he doesn't look extremely happy in this particular picture. Um, Perhaps it was indigestion after breakfast.